Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel MS Maps. In this video, we are going to discuss about monotone convergence theorem or Lebesgue monotone convergence theorem, Lebesgue MCD. So, what is the statement? Is what let uh, let f n of let f n is basically n is equal to one to infinite is non-negative sequence of function uh, such that f n is monotonic increasing function and f n x is converging to f of x almost everywhere. Uh, on E for which uh, for each X belonging to E, then this results will hold. So this is the result basically that we have already discussed in Fatou's lemma. So we'll use this the result of Fatou's lemma in this theorem. Okay. So first, what is the uh, like uh, almost everywhere that we have already discussed in the previous video? So just uh, watch that video firstly, and then come for this. So for this Lebesgue uh, convergence theorem, you should have at least the idea of the what is the almost everywhere and what is the Lemma. We'll use the result as Fatou's lemma. Okay, so if we have this, then we'll just prove it. So almost everywhere means if uh, if uh, a function f and g are almost everywhere, or because uh, or basically if a condition for a function is basically equality here. So if a condition hold for any two function and the set of all those points for the condition is not hold. Or the condition is not holding for that particular points. The measure of that particular points on which the condition defined on the function is not holding, see, it is equals to zero. Okay. So in which the uh, this is the measure of that particular set which is collecting, which is collecting all those types of points on which the condition is not holding, defining by the functions. Okay. The here the condition is what condition is the f and x is converging to f of x. So the, if it is almost everywhere, then on those points for what uh, yeah, for which the uh, f and x is not converging to f of x, then the collection of all those points is a set. Then the measure of that particular set will be zero. So this is the concept of the almost everywhere. Yeah. So we'll use the this result. If it is almost everywhere, then we'll use this result. Okay. So yeah, the proof for this theorem is what? So the proof. Since f n of yeah, since fn is a sequence of non-negative sequence of non-negative miserable function then defined on E, E is a set, okay, defined on E and fn of x is converging to f of x almost everywhere on E yeah on capital e is the set then by fatou's lemma that we have already discussed in the previous video is what fatou's lemma says that if you have a function converging fn of x converging to f of x then this result will hold it is less than equal the limit in frame of, of e over fn dx Okay, then it is equal. Yeah, it is equation number one. Then again, since Fn is monotonic, so that's why the name of this is what monotonic, the big monotonic convergence theorem. So the if Fn is monotonic function, then monotonic increasing. What the monotonic increasing? If fn is monotonic, increasing and fn is converging to f, then f is what? Greater than fn for every n and for every x belonging from e. So for which the integration of f is what? Greater than equal e for fn. If you will apply the integration, then this result will hold. So the e fn is what the greater than if we will take the limit supremum for this side this result will hold so this is what the equation number two the limit infimum is yeah the f of x the, this integration is less than the limit infimum and this result is greater than by the limit supremum of the f n okay so these two, two result we had then from equation number one and two what can we conclude that the e f of x dx is less than equal of the limit supremum of f and dx is less than equal the limit infimum 
uh, yeah limit infimum is here and limit supremum is here is what fn so it is what fn of dx and it is again less than of integration of f of dx so that what it will conclude that f of x converging f of x is what f so the integration of f of dx is what is equals to the limit if it is limit infimum and limit supremum are equal or less than then we can just conclude then it is what limit is equals to for this function this is just a, a normal result and end tending to infinite so this is the concept so thanks for watching my video keep watching mx maths thank you bye bye